One of the major arguments that I see in many of your videos is that it is possible to separate criticism of the religion of Islam from the actual Muslim people. And yet, this line seems to be crossed very often. I see things like raghead or camel fucker or other things like that in your comment sections. I see people taking very serious shots at Muslims in videos and hangouts, and they don't get called out. But at least not that I can see. People are individuals. People who comment on your channel do not represent you, and they are making fools out of themselves. So there is no need to spend time on calling them out. It will not stop their behavior. So my question is this. Why should a person of conscience who is concerned about the Muslim people and their community not being harmed or mistreated, why should they believe that you're actually only attempting to look at the ideas and talk about the ideas if you ignore bigotry that's occurring right in front of you? You cannot stop it by calling it out. So why should we waste time? when it is irrational to link that behavior to us. And in that light, would you be willing to break bread and salt with moderate Muslim people on your videos, have hangouts, invite them to your channels, just in order to build some bridges there and to learn more about what they think and how they feel and what their experience has been so that information and knowledge can be furthered? You have to understand that you can hate all cancer without hating everyone with cancer. You are criticizing their ideology, they are welcome to defend it. Personally, I do not believe in real-time discussions, so I will not do that. But if I ever do a video criticizing Islam, I welcome anyone to respond to it, and I will defend my position. But I have seen many discussions with Muslims and ex-Muslims, but if you're not offended, it's not about you, right? Now, Sim Sharif, are you willing to block everyone who disagrees with you and respond to them? Do you deny that systemic racism against black people is like a thing in general? If so, what? Okay, just just step up. Just cover your ears for a second and let the smart people talk. Mr. Arbiter of Truth, I think you need to stop building echo chambers. I do not deny that systemic racism exists. I just want proof for it before I'm willing to accept it. If not, why is it so much more important to you to demonize groups like Black Lives Matter? The terrorist organization that is opposing white and black crime, which is barely existent, and the nice existence of black and black crime, which dominates the statistics. Then to actually use your platforms to discuss actual solutions to issues surrounding race and racism. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month sure. is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no. No, I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And stop still... talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. If you've ever discussed or done a video about black on black crime, when are you going to do a video about white on white crime? When it becomes a problem. Next. Why is a literal what is it with you and the word literally? Teenager is a different definition of racism from you. So horrifying that you all have to go transgender, his phobia under TJ stop molesting our language. Non binaries are not transitioning, have not transitioned, and do not proclaim to be beyond gender. So the prefix trans is unjustifiable. They are just making up phobia enders, with the exception of a under, but that is just as much nonsense as a race would be. You can refuse to acknowledge your gender, but it doesn't make it go away. No! No, we have to stop him! We gotta debunk him now! Ah! Exaggerated nonsense. Blocked. You often say that you are for equality of opportunity, but if people of color, for instance, have to overcome barriers whites do not, such as discrimination and unequal treatment, as are well documented in various studies, show me your sources. Are you perhaps completing race with something else, like for example poverty or uneducated parents?
then how can the current situation be thought of as equal opportunity in any real way? To answer this, I have to assume you are completing race with other things. So for poverty, as long as all education is free and the quality of your education is in no way tied to your economic situation, then you get enough money to live on from the state for studying. Poverty makes no difference. I know this is not the reality in all of the Western world, but it is in Sweden. As for uneducated parents that cannot help their children with their studies, this is solved by volunteer work but could hypothetically be with state-sponsored programs. These solutions try to equalize the opportunity. Indeed, not everyone is born with the same opportunity, and this must be fixed. Equality of outcome, however, is the wrong goal. In equality of outcome, you accommodate for underachievers and treat people unfairly. If the ones that do have problems are accommodated for without being expected to do anything about your situation, you remove the incentive for them to do any real work. Because if everyone did the same work, what work and the amount of work they do would not matter. And would if we ignore their contribution to the country's economy, earn as, as much as being jobless or doing any of the highest paying jobs. Therefore, most people would simply choose not to work and we would have to force them to work. And why do you consider it racist to discuss these issues? No, it is not racist to discuss these issues, nor is this racist. Do you understand basic English syntax? Like, you know, if I say this cat is pretty, I don't mean that all other cats aren't pretty. Like, do you really not get why saying all lives matter in response to Black Lives Matter is not only racially insensitive, but just patently ridiculous? How about those cops and white people they want to kill? I know you didn't mean to do this, but with this comparison, you implied that some lives do not matter, and indeed, a non-neglectable number of lives. Isn't it offensive to men to assume that a man could only ever want equality for women, and therefore be comfortable with feminism as a whole in order to get laid, and that reduces us to beasts? Collectivist conclusion. If that was the case, wouldn't I attempt to get laid? from my view. You could do that too, but it's probably harder. Use instead of not ever trying that? I don't think any one of you are in it to get laid. We don't know about any of the men of you except Steve Shines, and I don't think he is in it to get laid. I think he is in it because he's stupid. And we do want equality for women, and that is one of the reasons we oppose you. If you say you're an egalitarian, will you call out the man-hating slurs that you see coming from people within your community? People who use terms like cuck, beta male, faggot, or mangina? Oh, the fuck is a bundle of sticks related to the male gender? And if you meant fag rather than faggot, how the fuck is a bundle of sticks, a remnant, or a shore related to the male gender? And now, I will not call them out, nor will I call out woman hating slurs. I do not care if you use slurs. In any case, can you not see how saying that someone doesn't meet the requirements for the continuation of the human species is an insult? All of these things basically distill men down into thinking that the most important thing about them is to be having sex with a woman. That's rather offensive. Citation needed. So what are you doing to stop this kind of behavior in your community? Nothing. We have enough problems with free speech as it is in Sweden. So much as people are actually demonstrating over democratic principles. Ironically, the right to demonstrate. And whenever you criticize that, people will oppose that and think you are terrible and a bigot. I think it would be beneficial if people started using more slurs, at least in Sweden.